Hello, ladies and gents, boys and girls. Have I got something for you today. In this little box, this little device is going to heal you. It's going to help you get better, no matter what you've got. No matter you got bronchitis, you got uh, emphysema, you got Ebola, this is going to help you get better. And it's a miracle little device I found on Amazon for the low, low price of $19.95. And it's going to solve your medical problems. At least help you solve your medical problems. And let me give you a little background. Now, um, when you're sick, when you've got some kind of illness, flu, influenza, whatever it is, this is caused by goo in your body. And you need to find out what the frequency of that goo is so you can tell your doctor, I got some goo and the frequency is so and so, and he can give you some medication that will get rid of that goo and you'll get better. So let me show you this little handy dandy device. It slices, it dices, it chews up your food for you. And here it is, the goo it frequency counter. There it is. And what you do is you turn this on and you wave it over your body and it will tell you, it'll give you a readout here of the goo frequency and the strength of the goo. The stronger the goo, the sicker you'll be. So you got to get rid of that goo. So here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I just couldn't pass this up. Yeah, I got the GUIT frequency counter, and no, it doesn't find goo in your body, and it doesn't help you get well. This is just my little Halloween joke. But this is a handy little device, and it does uh, come from Amazon. It's 19.95 right now. There are several versions of this, and they're different prices. So this was the cheapest one for 19.95. And what you do, it's got a little telescopic antenna here, a real little telescopic antenna, and a little button that's recessed to turn it on. And then, oh gosh, you probably missed that. Let me turn it back off. I want you to see what it displays when you turn it on. Mini counter. And then it starts displaying the counter. Now, I don't know what it's seeing right now. It says it's like four... 55 to 475 megahertz. I don't know what that could possibly be. But we're going to sit it down here. And my lighting is not too good. Let me see if I can kind of hold it on an angle there. And I've got my Bofang radio. And I'm going to push the transmit button here. See if we can get them both in the picture. And let me turn it off first. I've got to turn it on. And I've got it tuned a way off frequency in the 2 meter band so it won't disturb anybody. So, let me get the lighting right here. And yeah, see, there we go. Kind of, I got a lot of glare. And I'll push the transmit button. And I can't do this with, <laughs> I can't do this with one hand. Um, okay, let me uh, set this right there. Yeah, let me see. Maybe if I set them down, uh, then the lighting's not right. Let me uh, play with the lighting here. Uh, not quite right. I'm trying to get the lighting right and being able to push this transmit button at the same time. Because what you really have to do is you have to have a continuous transmission. Uh, now it's turned itself off. And let me see. Oops, hit the right button here. Oh, I went to FM. Oh, golly, what am I doing? Okay, here we go. Maybe it's, the lighting is good enough you can see it. Okay, I'm transmitting, and I'll push it so it'll stop. And it says I'm transmitting on 861. Well, that's not right. It worked before. Let me try it again. Um, get it. Okay, it's searching now. And I'll transmit. And I'll hit the... It's 733. Maybe I'm overwhelming it because I am kind of close. Okay, I'm going to, trust me here, I'm going to put this in transmit, I mean in 
scan. There it is. And I got the radio a little far away from it, a little further away from it. And it's 479. And I just screwed up my camera because <laughs> of the transmission. And 479 is not right. Actually, I'm transmitting on 141.422. Okay. Let me reset it so it's scanning. Okay, 143.925. Oh, okay, I've switched bands by by I hit the AB button, so that is correct. Now, we're going to go back to what I had. Sorry for all the <laughs> confusion. <laughs> okay, so it's scanning now, and I'm going to hit transmit. And there it is, 140.823. And I'm transmitting on 140.822. Okay, so it's working now. I guess I got I had the radio too close to it when I was trying to do it side by side so you could see the frequency. Uh, let me put the radio out here so you can see the radio. It, I, I've got an offset on it. That's why it's changing the frequency. Well, let's see. Well, now the offset's gone. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, I hit, I hit the AB button again. I don't know how I'm doing that. Okay, so <laughs> this is this is so ridiculous. I can't believe this. Okay, <laughs> it's got to be because the name of this product has got me so messed up. Okay, I hit the button and I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's 140.822. And this record, oh, I'll shut itself off now. So here we go. I got it so you can see the, and I'm going to transmit, and there it is, 140.823. So either the radio transmission is a little bit off, or this is a little bit off, but it's really close. So it's, it's not a big deal. Maybe I even see, uh, oh, okay. I'm looking at the display now, and it's, uh, 140.225 and then when I hit the transmit button it's got an offset in it so that it subtracts it subtracts uh, 0 .6600 so it's really transmitting on 141.225 and this said where'd it go 140 oh I did it again okay Say in 140.823, so it's not, it doesn't uh, have the fourth decimal point there. So it's right on. It's right on. Trust, trust me, it's right on. When I do it correctly, it's right on. So it is working. Uh, just a little bit of operator error here. I was hoping to get uh, it to work with my baby monitor that I use not to monitor our baby because we don't have any babies, but to monitor my shortwave radio in other rooms. But that particular baby monitor is not working. Now, I did try it on um, my intercom, which is at operating at 900 megahertz, and I put, I put, I put the um, intercom... Oh, let me turn this radio off. I put the intercom antenna right up against this antenna and it measured the correct frequency. So it does work as a frequency counter. Now, I've got it turned off right here. It came with, it uses a 9 volt battery and it came with a 9 volt battery but I, somehow you can get it in a mode where it stays on all the time. And I guess when I was trying it yesterday I got it in that mode and I didn't turn it off so it killed the little kamikaze battery and so I had to replace the battery so you got to take out four screws and I've already taken out three and I put the uh, a fourth one back after I replaced the battery so the cover wouldn't fall off but I'm going to show you try to show you the innards of this little baby the GUIT frequency counter and Number one, it looks like somebody took a knife and scraped off the numbers on this big IC so you couldn't 
duplicate it. Number two, I don't know if it'll show up. And I need something smaller so my big finger is not in the way. Let me get a pin. I don't know if it shows up, but these parts right here, they've got residue of where they were soldered. So the residue was not cleaned off. The antenna here has a piece of masking tape shielding it from the circuit board. I don't think it really needs it, but they wanted to be safe and make it more industrial quality, so they put a little piece of masking tape back there to uh, protect it from shorting to the circuit board. And there's a bunch of residue down here where the antenna was soldered in place. Not a whole lot to it. It's basically this circuit here, maybe a little power diodes or something. Oh, maybe those are connections to the display. And then a couple of parts down here and even a adjustment down here so that you can adjust the display in case it's a little bit off frequency. So not a hot, whole lot to it. And, like I say, it does seem to work. Um, boy, the screen's really dirty. It came that way. And this one did not have a, a piece of plastic protecting the screen. It didn't have. And one of the ads that I saw, the picture of it showed the plastic cover still on it. So it looked like the screen was distorted, but that was only because the plastic cover was still on it. But this is, and it's made by Guit Electronics Company Limited. And this little decal they put on here of their name is lumpy. <laughs> it's not smooth. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it works, you know? Uh, and, uh, you know, frequency counter is a good thing to have in your shack for. Like when you're looking for uh, stray frequencies, and uh, you can go around and find them, and uh, see, uh, well, okay, maybe that frequency is what's getting into my radio. Uh, if you uh, do have a transmitter, a handheld transmitter, or even a uh, desktop transmitter, uh, this will tell you if it's putting out at the right frequency. So, for 1995, it's really hard to beat. And uh, this, this guy right here goes down. It doesn't come with a case, so you have to be a little careful. We don't scratch up the surface. I probably will find me a little cloth bag and put it in a cloth bag after I put the screws back on it. And notice it even has a hook for hanging this on the wall or wherever else you want to hang it. So I think it's a pretty good deal, and you can get these. Uh, I haven't put them in my Amazon store yet. I was a little afraid to. But I think I will, because I, I think it, it's not bad. Unfortunately, it will not cure any of your ailments or help you find the cause of your, any of your ailments, but it will display the frequency of transmission. And the other thing you can do is you can use this to, uh, when you're going to a sporting event or something like that, you might be able to find the frequency that they're operating on as far as talking from from coach to coach or whatever. Now, I have, and I wish I had brought it, and I don't want to start this video over. It's too painful, but I meant to bring it up here. I have downstairs in my shop, I have another device that's similar to this, except it does a whole bunch of other functions. And it was originally $350. But its main function is as a frequency counter. It also uh, can decode uh, CTSS tones. And uh, one of these, similar to this, said that it will decode CC CTSS codes. But it was more expensive. So maybe it does. I was making fun of that ad, but maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe it does indeed decode. Uh, those tones, and I think it was like $40, which still is a lot cheaper than my $350 one. Um, I'm trying to remember who made the $350 one I got. 
it was again it was kind of an off brand but they they made a lot of equipment like that uh, and they even made a radio that would scan the full spectrum and if there was a strong signal it would stop on it and it would it would scan at full sex spectrum you know like from 10 megahertz to 2 gigahertz in less than a second unlike a regular scanner it would just boom scan it also nowadays and they've been out for quite a while probably five or six years you can actually get scanners scanner radios that have that built-in function I may have done a review of one of my scanner radios the Pro 97 and it has that scan capability it's not really a frequency counter per se but it can kind of be used as a, as a frequency so anyway I I would say this is a buy if you need a frequency counter and uh, it kind of gets the job done so that's the show for today thanks for watching bye bye